come and join me inside our nursery classroom. Hi, Miss Ellie. Hello, Miss Allison. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Ellie, one of our nursery teachers and also our early years phase leader. Now, Miss Ellie has joined us this morning to talk a little bit about what happens in our pre-nursery and nursery classrooms. Now, Miss Ellie, what are the key things to your daily routine that help the children at Bromsgrove? I think one of the most important things that we do here is our morning circle time. We have a, a soft start for the children so they can come in, play outside for a little bit. We give them a little bit of time often with their parent or their carer before it's time to say goodbye. We'll do a, a morning lineup and a song um, and we really encourage the parents to stay for that which I think really enhances the community feel here. And then the children will come into the classroom and they can explore the areas for a little bit before we'll sit down and do our circle time together. And that will very much um, take the form of a song together, welcoming all of the children by name, which is really important. And then we'll usually do a short learning activity, which will be relevant to whichever theme we're studying at the moment in nursery. So lots of what we do here at nursery is about play-based learning, which is really important for the children's communication skills and something that we feel is most important for children coming to school is that they are happy and comfortable here. And the play-based learning really does help with that. We do an indoor-outdoor learning environment so all of our different areas are covered within the foundation stage curriculum and we have different zones which enhance different skills with the children. The great thing about play-based learning is that a lot of the time the children don't really know they're learning <laughs> and it gives us the opportunity to really see what they're interested in and then set up future activities that really speak to the children's particular skills and interests. We, we also do some more formalised learning, which takes place later in the day. And one of the most important things we're working on in the nursery years is the pre-phonics skills. So phonics is all about reading and writing, but actually in nursery, the most important thing is encouraging the children to speak and to be proficient in English. With a, with a high proportion of bilingual learners, that's particularly important. So we do a, have a lot of emphasis on phonics or pre-phonics skills and also early maths, counting, recognising numbers and shapes. And all those things prepare them ready for reception when they continue their learning journey. Absolutely. So all of our learning spaces are set up to mirror each other around the school. This is really important so when the teachers plan, they are making sure that all of the learning is accessed through the activities that planned and prepared on a daily basis. So let us take a little walk around our nursery class to see that what we have set up this morning. So let's start here. So Miss Ellie, this is obviously a sensory activity for the children to enjoy, mm -hmm. but I also see that the numbers um, are on the turtles. So what sort of learning might happen at this activity? So number numeral recognition is a really important part of nursery something that we encourage the children to do the sort of activity we might be able to do here might be to choose a turtle and then see if you could find that many stones hiding in the water ah, i see those sorts of activities these turtles are also recordable so we can record messages on them so this is a technology toy, enhances the children's understanding of technology as well. As well as their communication skills, yeah. I'm sure. Oh, okay. So every class will have a variety of sensory and numeracy activities set up each day. And what you will find through the activities we have, they are multifaceted. So many different learning areas can be drawn at through one activity. 
Now, a favourite, Miss Ellie, is always the construction in nursery. The children, children will spend hours doing construction. So over here we have both big and small construction activities. Yep. So the children, they love these magnetic blocks and it's really a case of both free choice with the blocks yeah. or if they wish to they can follow pictures which guide them and helps them with their shape recognition trying to build something that they see on the picture so it's a really lovely open-ended activity where they can choose how they wish to access it I think all these activities without the children knowing and allow them to embrace learning absolutely so over here we have some wonder bugs the children absolutely love <laughs> our wonder bugs they can go inside and outside the learning environment although it is to develop their technology skills isn't it miss ellie it also really encourages their fine and gross motor skills it also encourages their communication skills and also their ability to share um, and work with others in the class. Is this a particular favourite of the children? They love, they love these bugs. So turn taking is a, is a very important feature of having these bugs out. Which is something that really is an area that we learn to develop in the nursery. When the children are in the pre-nursery, they're almost not so aware of other little people in the classroom. Um, but as they develop in their nursery skills um, and as they get older, they start to recognise that the world is not just about them and that they can learn to share their ideas and share their toys and learn to navigate those paths of communication. Shall we continue around the, the classroom? Oh, a, a favourite thing that I know, this is a particular favourite for the girls quite often. We have some mark making here, Miss Ellie. Yeah, yeah. Do you set up mark making every day? We always have a mark making activity. It's really important, particularly for fine motor skills. And the children love it. They access it in different ways. They might choose to colour, but they might choose to pick up a pair of scissors and cut the picture out or to stick the pictures together. There are lots of different ways that they will access the mark making and we encourage them to be independent. If they don't have the materials that they want for a particular picture, they can, they can go and find them themselves. So would this be the same activity set up every day, Miss Ellie? Or as the week goes through, you would set up different resources? We would, we would change it by adding, for example, colored paper or stickers. So it, it might be the same pictures all week, but a different way of accessing them. And it allows different ch children to draw into that activity yeah, as they go. Okay. Oh, I do love finger gym. Is this something that the children enjoy? It's so important. And the teachers, I think, Miss yes. Ellie. Huh? It's very helpful sometimes if you want to just build some little models. It's really important um, to encourage strength in the children's fingers mm -hmm. and that is vital for pre-writing skills. I think that also mirrors some of the sensory work that we do round the corner with the Play-Doh. Yeah. The children in this part of the school, their hands have not yet developed. Their muscles are very weak and so through the activities that we do, we always try and encourage them to do lots of different activities and exercises to build up their muscle control for when they start to do mark making and writing. Shall we carry on and yeah. see what other exciting the activities there are in our nursery classroom? Oh, the home corner is always a popular one. Absolutely. Yep. Unfortunately, Without the children here, I always think that the home corner looks a bit empty. <laughs> it does look a little bit empty. I promise you, if our children were here, we would have bubbles in the bath and we would have omelettes being cooked on the stove and somebody in the, in the shop, shop buying yeah. something. Uh, it is really important that we have a home corner set up for all of our classes 
Why do you believe a home corner is important, Miss Ellie? It's vital for the children's communication skills. Um, and also there, it, it really covers a lot of areas in the understanding the world aspect of their curriculum. Playing out scenarios that they see at home is really important for their development and their understanding of the world and the roles we have within society. I love watching the children pretending they are mummy at home and they might be cooking, washing baby or maybe buying some eggs at 7-Eleven. As we know, communication skills are developed in many different ways. But having a reading corner set up in all of our classrooms really helps us to enjoy stories and language development with all the young children in class. Often, our active children will be running around outside, but we will have one little quiet child left inside who will hold our hand and lead us to sit in the tent and read a story. This is a lovely opportunity and shows that we cater for all the different characters on our campus. Oh, Miss Ellie, something that our children really enjoy is the weekly diary going nice. home. Now, every class throughout the year will write a diary. So what happens to the diaries, Miss Ellie? Well, we have our class mascot. So we've got Penguin here and Polar Bear. And every week the children have an opportunity to take the mascot home with them and we ask them to fill in a diary while they're there. So they will take some photographs and write some short descriptions about the sort of thing that they have been doing with Penguin or Polar Bear at home. It's a lovely opportunity for the children to develop their communication skills again and be able to recount events that have happened to them which again is an important part of the curriculum in nursery. The, the loveliest thing is that the children come back to these time and time again. I would say that they are probably the most popular books in our reading corner. They love looking at them together, looking at what their friends have done, um, and, and really they just love photographs of, of themselves and familiar things. So they are fantastic to have in the reading corner. I think it really helps the children bring a connection between their home life and their school life and it helps with their separation um, and feeling comfortable in their environment. Every class of the Early Years campus uh, takes part in this journal every single academic year and we find that it's something that is really valued and appreciated by our children and our families.